How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Enrique CTV, and today we are watching the next episode of Freyren, which is Aura the Guillotine, or Guillotine, however you want to say it. I don't know. I don't care. Um, but I do know that that shit's about to fall down on her, um, because apparently we have the elf goddess of throwing these hands, I guess. <laughs> Freyren did not shy away from just pulling up to a whole army. He was already called Freyren the Slayer from the last episode um, because the guy, I forgot, I think it's Drott, remembered, or maybe that was the guy that died. Either way, the guy that lived from uh, Fern's attack um, remembered who she was because Fern has a similar fighting style, obviously, because she's being taught by Freyren. So it makes sense that he would make that connection. Um, what's crazy is that we saw her tear some shit up. We know Freyren is very, very capable, but we don't know if she can take out an army because that's what she's trying to do. She pulled up to Aura. She knew where she was. She could feel her and she pulled up to a whole army. Can she take an army out by herself? Me think a yes. Me think a yes, I, I believe she probably can, uh, and I'm very excited to watch her do it. Uh, who I'm worried about is Fern and Stark, who are kind of running away and trying to stay out of sight from the other two demons, because they are strong enough to maybe pose a threat to Fern and Stark, but I think Stark underestimates himself, Fern a little bit too, but the combo of them working together is actually probably going to be pretty good, so I'm very excited, so let's hop into this next episode. I do want to say really quick that this song has just cemented itself in my playlist like fucking heavy. Recency bias is killing it. <laughs> it's killing me. Getting a little bit of the uh, backtrack. It's crazy that they're like, oh, I know. Wait a minute. Holy shit. Is she having an army of headless fucking soldiers, bro? Is that what? Did I just see that correctly? Episode 9, Aura the Guillotine. Alright, good to know that he's doing okay. Because, I mean, he was he was not looking too hot, but they got to him, I think, just in time. Yeah, bro, sit down, relax. You're not doing good right now. You gotta relax. You're pardoning her as she, as she was right, bro. She she absolutely was right. It's on site with her, and she knew what she was talking about. Lugner, that's who that's who that guy was. Yeah, now he now he knows Freyren's name. You gotta throw yeah, you gotta throw that name around a little bit more. She's afraid to do it. I get it. Totally get it. But they gotta throw her name around more. Oh my god, it really is. It is an army of headless soldiers, also known as just. Is it just like a armor set? Is, is there actual person here? Probably not. Oh my god. Capper, bro. Yeah. I love how they kind of know each other already. It's great. Their little banter is fucking awesome. Yeah, I, I knew I knew that battle axe wasn't gonna hit her. Are you kidding me? Look at her. Freyren's the fucking goat, dude. <laughs> you have more puppets than before. Is that what she can do with that thing? Does she, like, control people with it? That's a fact. Like he said, Lugner said, it's always more and more, and they're always ahead. Oh, she's already noticing that they all have necklaces on. No way! She recognizes the armor? How? Get the fuck out. She fought with these people somehow. That makes sense. They're all Eldritch Horrors is what they are. In their own right. That's crazy. What the fuck? 
So her power is just always going to be stronger. But she can't do that shit with Frey Ren. Hell no. <laughs> they judge fairly. Okay. And that's where she comes in. <laughs> Bro is so full of herself and she don't even know it yet, dude. She don't even know it yet. <laughs> Back when he was a, a fighter. Oh shit, bro. Who's got the necklace then? Damn. Yeah. Yep. She's not stupid. She's just fucking annoying. Yeah, I hate her fucking... I hate her shit right now. Ooh! Yeah! I don't know what you're doing, Frey Ren, but do it! Okay. Bro, she actually is. She does look a little pissed. Yeah, not for her though, bro. <laughs> Probably not anyway. Well, she's a little different now. Yeah. Because there used to be people too. It's like zombies, kind of. They used to be people too. Uh-oh. Oh, light her up. Light her up. Get fucking mad, dude. I'm so scared. Don't ask if it's safe. Okay, cool. I'm gonna go after Frey Ren. That is kind of scary, though. That was such a smooth animation for no reason. <laughs> That's my boy. That's my boy, Stark, bro. Fuck yeah. Hell yeah. I don't think... I think they... This is maybe the first time he's not underestimating himself, I think. No. You guys gotta fight together. Fuck you. <laughs> Buddy. No. Fight together, please. Come on, what are we doing? I mean, yeah, that, that makes more... Yeah, okay, maybe it makes sense. Fuck you. <laughs> but, but you could do this together. This <laughs> normal four warrior, just blood everywhere? Are we sure? Maybe like a... Oh, hey, she... Yeah, see, you're covered in blood too, it's fine. Get fucked, idiot. Oh my god, is that her own blood? Oh, she knows. Ooh! Oh, shit. Oh, shit. She found out way too late, though. Oh, ooh! Hold on, baby. Goddamn. Come on, Stark. What the fuck? Oh, shit. Yo, is Fern okay? Is Fern okay? Oh, shit. No. Nah, I don't think she's surprised, dude. She found out way too late. She knew what the fuck was going on, but she looks fucking mad. <laughs> she looks mad. She might be fucking your shit up in a second. I just want to see spells fly around. Come on. That's crazy, Fern. You're giving him time. You're giving her time. Ooh, ow. What are you gonna... Go ahead, what? Ask or kill? That is tough. Oh. Why a decent death? What does that mean? 
I don't know where Freyrin is, don't ask. You should know. The punishment is execution for killing a guard? I mean, that makes sense. But still, goddamn, holy shit. Oh, why are you leaving Fern over there? You better get fucked up, bro. <laughs> they even lowered your fucking dialogue. <laughs> is he even gonna notice? He might. Yeah. Was he distracted or was he... Huh. Does she feel that? Does she know? Yeah, I think you could have killed her if you wanted to. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Fern, right, I love you. I love you so much. <laughs> awesome. Bro, let's see if she even ta if she takes it. Do it. Do it. Hi, cat. Yeah, it's hard to compare yourself. I knew she'd do this shit eventually, because, like... Freyrun's obviously going to be way better when... Yeah, exactly. You'll never catch up in that... In that case. Yeah. <laughs> you forced this on me many times. <laughs> so she can let off a spell fast. Yeah, it's different, though. Demons live way longer. I say let her rip, Fern. Do it. Do it. Do it. Okay. That was... That was pretty fast. I don't think she was responding to you. I think she just did that shit. <laughs> Ooh. Bro, a little, is that a little shake in your hand, bro? Is that a little shake in your hand? <laughs> Oh my god, this shit's gonna go down, huh? Oh! Buddy! Stark! Get up, bud! Please! I beg of you! That shit was cool! Ooh! Ooh! Okay! But, look at her intensity, bro! Look at her fucking intensity! How you can tell me that's like... Easy to deal with. Bitch looks so fucking aggressive right now. Yo. Holy shit. Dude. And yet, you're a little scared, you fucko. She, that's the other thing, bro. She can shoot out spells like that. Damn, Fragran, what the fuck did you do? Oh my god, this is fire. Oh shit. Has him fucking quaking in his boots. Holy shit. She just... She actually might have more mana than him, or is she just stronger? That's crazy. He's like, I need backup! I need backup! I need backup! <laughs> That's what he said. Nobody fucking can say anything else. That guy said, I need backup. The music, dude, is so good. These fights are fucking fi- Ooh! Bro! Nah. Did bro lose an eye just there? Oh shit. Ooh, ooh. So she almost uses like a puppet technique on herself, kind of. Bro, holy shit, the way they animate her is so good! This this episode is fucking peak. This is some good shit. Just be a little bit better. Ooh. Come on. Come on, Stark. Be a little better than your master. Yeah. Holy shit. You basically have to beat him. You have to beat your master right now. What the fuck? Fuck no! Get up, bro! What do you mean? You missed. Shut up. Stark! Bro, Stark! Stark! 
Kotto Tate. Orega Shoni Katero Akinegaro. I love that we're getting some backstory, but it also scares me that we're getting some backstory. Yes, please. We all need that right now. Fern needs it. I need it. He needs it. Buddy, bro, the resilience. Dog has sheer resilience in his blood. <laughs> Dude. Well, technically, actually, the brain is the strongest muscle, bro. Actually, in the heart, I guess. Bro, just, just do what you gotta do. I love you, Stark. I love all these characters. Oh. That's a bar. Bro said, you're just an imitation. You're not even, like, the real thing. I know the real thing. <laughs> just find a way to be... That is really cool, the way he sets up his little blood veins. Yeah, dude? But he ain't gonna stop. <laughs> oh shit. Get fucked, no shot. Ooh! Bro, wait a minute, hold on. Did he just pull out some Demon Slayer shit? What the fuck was that? He's got a lightning strike attack? Bro just turned around to get fucked. What an... Dumbass. Bro, <laughs> he got he distracted himself. Dude, why is the episode ending like that, bro? We didn't even get aura. How is it? <laughs> so, okay, respectfully, I have been busy. Um, that's why I haven't done the two episode thing that I was going to do, which is actually fine because I think it's going to line up perfectly where I can do three episodes a week because in case you didn't know, I'm going to do three episodes a week of Freyren from now on until I'm caught up. Um, but I'm going to tell you what, for this episode to be titled Aura and not get that fight with her and Freyren is kind of fucking naughty, but I'll accept it because of the peak that this was. Being able to see Fern and see Stark do their thing is awesome. To see them put what they've learned to good use. Not only that, but prove to themselves that they are indeed strong is fucking awesome. It is so cool to see because they deserve to know that they can kick some fucking ass. And they deserve to know that and they deserve to understand that there's not a lot of threats they can face. They have the knowledge of so many teachings from their past masters, which realistically for Aizen uh, and Stark, it's a past master because he hasn't seen Aizen in a little bit. Um, for Fern, Fern still has Freyren, but Freyren does acknowledge that she is better at certain things than, than she is. She has more mana for sure, and she has more technique, and she knows probably a fuck ton more spells, but Freyren cannot imitate Fern's speed. Something about how Fern does her magic is... It's quick. It's quick, and we saw her not only in the beginning, when she started training, but we saw her now be able to shoot out, just like... If anybody knows what I'm talking about, Kingdom Hearts 2, at the end of Kingdom Hearts 2, when Xemnas does the uh, laser attack and you just have to deflect everything, that is her attack sometimes. She just can put little dots of mana and magic around her to shoot out long beams and bullets all around her at her enemies, and it makes it fast. That's why it's easy for her to take down a herd of whatever the fuck that was that they showed today. <laughs> but... That is the point. The point is she can do that shit and Freyren cannot. Um, Freyren can probably put a ton of mana behind it and it can pack a fucking punch. That being said, it doesn't mean that Fern can copy it. But that also doesn't mean that Freyren can copy the way she, uh, that way Fern does her attacks and quickly uh, basically expands and shoots out all her magic. It is really interesting to see the way that they're similar and the way that they're different because obviously they're going to be very similar 
Uh, like Lugner said, he knew immediately that Fern and Freyren were somehow linked um, only because of the way she moved, the way she just kind of presented herself. It had that same intimidation that Freyren has, and obviously it has the same type of, like, literal, like, scare. Like, that he dude was fearing for his life for good reason. He needed backup. He kept turning around like, please, please, help me, please. Because, I mean, dude was, dude was scared, bro. He was genuinely scared because he knew at some point he wasn't going to win that fight. He needed the backup. He did. He needed the backup. If he didn't have the backup, he was dead. And guess what? He didn't have the backup. And what happened? He's dead. Genuinely such a fantastic episode. I can't wait to get to the next episode where we see Aura probably get fucking bodied. Because if they can do that... I can imagine that Freyren can take care of business with Aura because she knows she's stronger than her anyway. And if she can stand on her business, if she can say that and actually enact it, I'm not even worried. In fact, I'm not even worried before she even shows up and does things to her. I don't think she, I don't think Aura stands a chance with her. I think there's going to be things in the future that is going to be a problem for Freyren, Fern, and Stark, but. It's episode 9 going on to episode 10. I don't think that problem is right now. Maybe there's somebody down the line that was affiliated with the Demon King that is extremely powerful. One of the other seven destructions, right? Mage destruction somethings? I always forget, like, the titles for things, to be honest, sometimes. That's fucking my bad. But I'm sure that there's something more powerful later on in the future. But right now... This, this girl is not fucking it. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. That way you know every time I post. Ray Ren, I love this goddamn show. It is so, so good. And I cannot wait to see the next episode. Hope you're excited too. So I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.